That's just science. We're keeping you updated on all the science. Exactly. So. Mm-hmm. Uh, speaking of which, science with sea bass. Ooh. Now, uh, for those of you who have been listening to the show for a long time, you know that sea uh, bass went to school uh, and he got his degree in chemical engineering. That's right, chemical so, and biomolecular engineering. Okay, well, yeah. So my, yeah, my come bad. on, man. Yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> no one cares. Get it right. <laughs> um, anyway, so uh, now he is a cartnark. He is a no. member of the Woody Show. Uh, and so, like, he, he likes to dabble in the sciences just to kind of keep a toe in it. You know what I mean? Sure. Even though that's what he got his degree in, and people go, well, why, why aren't you doing that for a living? And, well, because this is way more fun. Yeah, right. Yeah. Easy. Yeah, torturing Greg with uh, with roaches <laughs> and, yes. you know, cartnarking people and everything. Way more fun. Among other things. His little projects that he gets to do. Mm-hmm. Way more fun than uh, serious science. For the most part. But, again, you like to dabble. I like your getup. You got the. Uh, he's got a science uh, coat on. What are the, the lab right. coat? Lab coat. Mm-hmm. And, and wears Waldo glasses. Yeah, glasses. <laughs> I got some. Yeah. yeah, some Harry Potter joints. <laughs> Doc Brown style. I like Doc Brown wore glasses actually. Mm-hmm. Yeah, looking uh, but, looking good. And today for science for sea bass, what do we got? We are going to see if the viral TikTok is true. Hmm. Can you hatch eggs from the grocery store? Ah. Hey. Now, of course, you can't just hatch any old eggs because right. most eggs are just. From hens that have never been around a rooster. Mm-hmm. However, this one lady, she's a mommy blogger on TikTok. We, last week or two, we were talking about her, where she said she went to Trader Joe's and bought their fertile eggs, okay. yeah. <laughs> put them in an incubator, uh-huh. and indeed they hatched into, she said she got like eight chicks out of 12. Wow. 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 Eight. Yeah. And a lot. a lot of people, myself included, mm-hmm. said, wait a minute. Those eggs are refrigerated. Right. Yeah. Uh-huh. We were we were doubting. That is not supposed to be how you uh, you hatch eggs. Now, why would why because would, of the yeah if if the cold was fine, like why would you need to incubate them even? Well, yeah. Well, she still said she. Okay, here's the thing. I looked into her. I watched a few of her videos to get more context. She already has chickens at her house. She's not like a she's not a rancher, not a farmer, but she you know just backyard chickens. Uh-huh. So that's why she had the incubator ready. Why she had like she was able to just throw them right in. She knew what she was doing. Yeah. She'd done this before, and. Fertile eggs, as we discussed at the time, why would they call them fertile? I'm not yeah, right. Right. fertilized. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Well, apparently you can't quite, and I've, I looked into this and no one had a great answer other than you can't guarantee that they're fertilized because you can't tell if an egg's fertilized or not until you crack it open and or try to incubate it. Now, there is a little difference. When you, when you crack open any old regular egg, there's a little tiny white spot yeah. right. in the yolk. And that is where the mother's genetic material is. Here's the science part of mm. things. <laughs> Biology <Yo>. here. <laughs> the mom's genetic material sounds <laughs> gross, doesn't it? a white dot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so the idea being that when a fertilized egg is in there, when you've got the sperm all up in that, that little dot, actually, it looks more like a little circle, like a little spaghetti-o menace. Oh. Uh-huh. <laughs> now this is making you very hungry. Yes. I'm sorry. So these fertile eggs, these are hens that have been around roosters. And apparently roosters and hens, they bang pretty much every day. Nice. Yeah. Oh, nice. Well, not nice, because the hens apparently don't like it very much. Oh, they <laughs> don't. Oh, it's not consensual. Oh, wow. No, no, it's, well, like, most of the animal kingdom is not consensual. Right. Uh, so what the rooster does is he gra- climbs up on the back of the hen, like puts his beak into her back, and then uh, like three seconds later, it's it, yeah. done. Yeah. It's a jerk. <laughs> right. The good news is, and what's <laughs> odd about a lot of birds, chickens included, is once he does that, she can then become lay fertile or fertilized eggs for like two weeks after that. Oh wow! Oh, wow! Oh, yeah. He just he leaves a little package. She's potent. <laughs> and apparently, as she's like she's dropping off, you know, her uh, as her uterine wall is shedding, so to speak. I don't think right. it's exactly the same. Uh, that just picks up a little bit of sperm, oh. and boop, out comes a fertilized egg. Oh. Roosters is... are so aggressive. I hate them. Oh, I've been well, attacked multiple times. Yeah, roosters <laughs> very territorial. And in fact, uh, you will find that most people who keep chickens will say, "I keep one rooster per." maybe 8, 10, 12 hens, because that's all yeah. they need. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, they fight. And also, too, they have something. They put a little hood on hens if you have a rooster around mm-hmm. because they'll lose feathers. These guys are so aggressive, like grabbing onto oh their back. Uh-huh. Wow. Like, they're, yeah, they're, they're not, they're they're not like good people. Kinky. No, <laughs> I, I walked into my aunt's barn, and out of the corner in the darkness, this thing comes flying <laughs> oh my God. at me. And look, He has no reason to be aggressive <laughs> yeah. towards Menace. Menace is not I there. I was there to feed the stupid thing. Because right. people will keep roosters yeah. around to protect the flock against, you know, unfortunately, uh, Menace, raccoons, and things like that. Yeah. Uh, someone said you could tell if an egg is fertilized by candling it. Okay, that's where we're going to go to next. So what I did is I got a dozen Trader Joe's fertile eggs. We're going to test okay. to see if this bitch is lying or not. Right out of the refrigerator at Trader Joe's. Right. They got, they Just got, like she did. I got the most recent ones. Now, candling, yeah. what, what they're talking about there is once you do start incubating eggs, if they are able to go to you know chick form, uh-huh. after, Greg, you'll love this. <laughs> after about four days or so, you'll start to see, if you hold up a candle or, uh-huh. an, or a flashlight to it, 
you'll see all these cool veins like kind of spidering oh. out around the inside right. of the Amazing. shell. That's kind of cool. That's kind of neat. So that's what we're going to be doing here in the studio is I have an incubator, and this incubator is self-turning because that's another thing you need to worry about. You can't just grab a fertile or fertilized chicken egg and throw it under a heat lamp. you got to turn it because otherwise the uh, chick, as it develops, will kind of stick to one side, you know, the, oh. mm-hmm. and it'll yeah, get yeah. like a you know scoliosis basically and okay. will not oh. be viable. So our... our Incubator is supposed to be at the you proper look ridiculous. temperature. Interesting. <laughs> this glass. This is science. All right. <laughs> incubator should be set at ninety nine point five degrees. Wow. Okay. Uh, the humidity, I believe, is around sixty five percent. It actually varies because this should take up to and probably beyond twenty one days total. Oh, oh really? Wow. All right. Yeah. Now, tw- what's yeah. stinking here? Uh, <laughs> probably not. Uh, no. I'm just wondering. Why, I'm asking. Why would it? Yeah. Uh, I mean, because eggs not. are sitting out and they're being warmed and, you know, I don't, mm. I don't know. It sh- unless there's bacteria present, there should be nothing going on inside yeah. the egg unusual that can really escape to, a, to yeah. add to a uh-huh. stink factor. And yeah. luckily, I wonder oh. if, the, uh, if there's a way to know early on in those 21 days, like, oh, this might work. Well, that's what they're referring mm. to with that's the candling. That's the candling. About yeah. four to five days yeah. in. That veining. Oh, then you do yeah. it. Yeah, and in yeah. fact, the incubator came with a little mini flashlight. Oh, oh, the, oh, I see that there. And that's how you can kind of tell if they're viable or not, too, is, mm. you, is the, the lady in the, the video who so allegedly hatched Trader Joe's eggs, because she's, yeah. she's done this a bunch before. She said, well, after about you know 15 days, this one just stopped growing, and which happens, obviously, in nature. That's why they lay lots of eggs. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So if this thing wasn't self-turning, how often would they have to be turned? They say two to three times per day. Whoa. Jeez. So that's why I'm like, I'm not Yeah, we're not, <laughs> we're not committing to that. <laughs> no, you need to do it old school, dude. Right, yeah, exactly. Can't we just have menace sit on them? Like, <laughs> yeah, menace, you could, if you can get to keep you at 99.5 degrees in the right yeah. humidity. Oh, I can. Make you a little nest. You might be too yeah, humid. My, so, yeah, my taint. Did you buy that thing on Amazon? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a, an okay. Amazon thing. It's it's a po- uh, allegedly works. For? Uh, most of them are around the forty, fifty, sixty dollars. So they're not cheap. Okay, these incubators. How many do they, do they really sell? You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh-huh. Ever think it, about that? Like they well, go through probably many more now that that TikTok it. is out. Yeah. Yeah, but just in general, like somebody made a business out of that. Yeah, right. Like how many mm-hmm. can Pretty you possibly? Like how many people are out there who need their own incubator? They say the better way to do it is to actually buy a basically a a doula of a chicken. There's there are these chickens you can buy the hens who are just like professional moms. Yeah. Uh-huh. Now the upside is she'll do all the turning. She'll keep the eggs at the right temperature. She'll raise the chicks. Right. Uh, downside is the chicks will be, as Mena said, a little more aggressive because if these do hatch. The first person they see will be their mommy. Oh, baby. That's right. They, oh, they, nice. they latch nice. or whatever it's called. Yeah, nice. they imprint. Imprint. Oh, nice. Nice. That's it. And now well, that the problem I'll is, follow you around. We can't teach chickens how to be chickens. Well, chicken. <laughs> we can't say, yeah, "Oh, this can. is where to find. This is where to find grubs. This is how. <laughs> right. This is what seeds you can eat. We can't do that." <laughs> so, yeah, this one will be going to Starbucks. Right. Yeah. So what we're gonna do today? Now, if they do hatch, we will adopt them out. Yes. Yeah. The problem being, though, that chickens, like people, they're basically a 50-50 hatching, so they're going to be way more roosters than we want. Oh. Mm. So we'll have to find oh, some. Oh, snap. And again, like I was talking about, most people don't want roosters. Number one, they're loud. Number two, you don't need a lot of roosters. You only need one or two per- They're so aggressive. Yeah, per mm. brood or whatever. So I think that means that'll those become delicious, tasty fried chicken sandwiches. <laughs> Ooh. Well, the and hens it can, it can go from science with sea bass to uh, <laughs> cooking, cooking with sea bass. Right. Seabass. So we're we'll gonna raise do... it and eat Chef it. Sea Bass will be in here. <laughs> what we're gonna do today. Or Woody Show taste test. Is we're gonna start the incubator. Another thing I, re- I read is that the 21 days is from straight out the butt at the cloaca. Oh, mm. Okay. So if these again, if this even is possible, and if this chick on TikTok's not a lion TikTard. Uh, it probably will take a little bit longer, 23, 24 days. Sweet these cloaca. have been chilled. <laughs> mm. okay. Again, which I, I have major doubts. But again, we'll, yeah. we'll know in four or five we'll days okay. with that whole yeah. handling yeah. thing yeah. if it's even oh. starting at all. Okay. All right, well, we're starting the all process right. today. This is Science with Seabass. Oh, I feel like yeah. I've learned more about this topic. Me too. Honestly, I never really thought that much about it. but I, I I would like to have home chickens, but I just don't live in a big enough place right. or any place with an open it air. Yeah. rule for yes. the eggs. Just for put sure. them on your balcony. Is that why you want the eggs? Like, uh, why would it rule to have uh, first home off, chickens? They're fun, and you get, <laughs> you get the eggs, fresh eggs. I, I didn't mention this, but uh, way back ye old olden radio days, uh-huh. I bought. You can buy live chicks via the mm-hmm. mail. Right. <laughs> oh yeah! In fact, <laughs> I got them shipped, and I got a call from the, my local post office. Uh, you got some chickens over here. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's, you know, it's a shoebox. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you could ship stuff yeah. like that. Uh, you sure can. They, they really? come like a couple days old. They'll come right to your house. You don't have to go through all this incubating. Yeah. Menace, but this, it, is a cup, this could be like a uh, part of the process for you having daily breakfast here. Oh, Bro, really? maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Starting point. <laughs> oh, finally. Have fresh eggs every morning. Yeah. Nature's cream. I, we have 
a good I, patio out here. Yeah, I mean, they're patio. not using it. I know it overlooks the highway. They don't do anything because but, uh, the location but sucks. It, but we yeah. can make a little pan. But it is fun having chickens. When I go to my mom's house and open up the back door, they just come running, <laughs> and then you just like when you walk yeah. around the backyard, they, they just follow do. you everywhere. Yeah, they come into the house. No, they don't come in the house. They come. Are they running. running at you. They run running at you. towards you. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah, and then you start walking around. And they just follow you That's like yeah. little dogs. Got to make sure not to step on them. Nah. Yeah. Really? And then they they follow like right behind you. I'd be worried about stepping on them. It's no. weird how chicks are so cute, but then they become chickens and they're yeah, so they're gross. gross. Yeah, <laughs> so weird. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, Sea Bass, thank you for all the information. Yes. He's gonna get the uh, the incubator up and running here during the break, <laughs> and then we're gonna come back. And uh, since we're on the egg theme, a game that we haven't played in fifteen years, I bet oh. maybe ten right. years. Oh. 15. 15? Easily. I'm it's, going 16. It's a game called Egg Roulette. <laughs> and it's very simple. We have how many people in here? Six people. Five of the eggs are hard boiled. One of them is not. Oh, you're going that way? I was going 50 50. Oh, 50 50 now? Oh, God. <laughs> oh yeah. three God. of them are not. <laughs> I, I, I did six and six. Right. Nice. Oh, uh, okay. Well, you, I mean, you, could put, you can adjust the odds however you like. Yeah, well, I just, well who was going to get? The question is it's kind of like a Russian roulette, right? Mm-hmm. Sure. There's only. It's not like there's three bullets. Well, it depends. On which I mean, game I guess you're like how dangerous you want to be. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Let's let's just uh, but, uh, let's go hardcore here. Yeah. Anyway, egg roulette. We'll figure out the details during the break, and we'll do that next here on the Woody Show. Hang on. <laughs> 